Welcome back to another Godot development video. Today we're going to cover dropping items from the inventory into the, the game world, as well as building occlusion. So first off, dropping items is fairly simple. The items have an attached mesh, pretty straightforward, and just spawns that. For the building occlusion, the buildings are set up to have levels, with each level having a detector, and then the detector is set up to detect mask of the player only. As the player walks in, it'll hide everything above that detector. For now, I've also included the south facing walls into the level above, but in the future, the camera angle will change and the style will be more visually similar to the new Diablo game. To demonstrate, so the player can occlude the entire building if he's walking in the back of the building, regardless of zoom level. Or he can include just the levels above if he's inside. Hmm. Okay, I also just noticed a bug. For some reason, my sword disappears. That is... As for dropping items, I've added a little button here. And I'd, oh, I guess they dropped through the floor. Another bug. The camera occlusion is set up with an area, area occluder. The area 3D is part of the player layer and only interacts with items that are also on the player layer. And the test buildings themselves have an overall occlusion box here, building occluder on the player layer to allow the entire building to get occluded when the character walks behind it. The occlusion shape changes as the camera zooms in and out. Not only the position but also the Z length. And that should be it. 